Hello and welcome to my home sweet home. It's that time for Hayana and me to recommend the perfect songs for the perfect occasions. Yes, and it's time for us to share stories and sing for you live on K-Pop Jam. Jam. That is right, Hayana. It's finally February. Wow. Mm, the month of many, many beginnings mm. and ends. Oh, mm. What do you mean, many beginnings and ends? Well, an example of an end would be the graduation ceremonies okay. that will be taking place this month. And an example of a beginning would be Valentine's Day. Wow. Mm, because you never know, you might start a new relationship with that person you've been admiring and loving for a long, long time. Wow. Yes, I now understand. Well, graduation <laughs> ceremonies will be taking place nationwide next week. Mm -hmm. And there's also Valentine's Day, That's you know, right. a day filled with love and romance. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even realize that it was almost Valentine's Day mm -hmm. next week because I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Just because you don't have a boyfriend doesn't mean you shouldn't celebrate the day of romance, mm. Valentine's Day. Now, I'm sure many of our viewers still have no idea what to do for Valentine's Day, so why don't we help them out by suggesting sweet romantic songs they could play for the person they like or their girlfriend or boyfriend. What mm. a great idea. Well, today we'll recommend some sweet songs for Valentine's Day, so take note mm -hmm. and play these songs for the special someone next week. Yes. Well, what about you, Daniel? Well, uh -huh. you probably received a lot of chocolates, right, uh -huh. from girls? <laughs> no. So what, well, but was there a Valentine's chocolate that is a special memorable for you? Well, more than just, uh, you know, mere Valentine's chocolate, I actually um, have a very memorable Valentine's Day. Um, mm. It was back in 2000. 2007, yes. 2007, 2007 I remember wow. exactly. And it was with uh, Yang Yoo Seop of Beast. Oh. Yes, um, we made a UCC video oh, together really? on Valentine's Day. And uh, I don't know, it actually became a pretty big Ooh, hit back then. So I mean, cool. that was a very a memorable Valentine's Day. For oh, it is. I'm in a hurry. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes and you yes. know, you get butterflies in your stomach mm -hmm. just thinking about giving a chocolate or a present to the person you really like. That's right. Well, I wanted to recommend a special song for our pops viewers mm -hmm. who have a crush on someone. Ooh. Yes, and I think they should sing or play this song in the background where they give that special person a present mm -hmm. and listen closely. Oh, you're going to sing it for us? Yes, of okay, course. Okay, then. Let's go. Wow, wow, what a sweet song. It is. I remember this song being um, a song from uh, the OST of uh, Dream, Dream High. High. That's yeah. right. And uh, Sonia of Wonder Girl sang yeah. this song, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. Well, that's right. And I didn't get to sing the entire song because there wasn't that much time for yes. me to sing the whole song. But the song overall describes the situation of unrequited love. Mm -hmm. So if you are also suffering from a one-sided love, mm -hmm and don't know how to express your feelings to the person you really like, then why don't you write the lyrics to the song on a Valentine's Day card and oh, give it to them? That's a really, really good idea. I mean, because the lyrics are very beautiful and uh, handwritten letters seem very heartfelt and romantic. Hmm. Hmm. So how about we send a video message to our future boyfriend or girlfriend? <laughs> like, why don't you go first, Daniel? Oh, uh, okay, a future message. Oh. Um, the past Daniel is waiting for you and he's very, very lonely right now. <laughs> so he needs you to come fast before 2013. 14 Valentine's 14? Day. Oh, okay. Before, because I, I don't think I'm going to meet her before 2013 <laughs> Valentine's Day. So uh, make sure you come before next year and um, uh, I don't want to say I love you. Uh, <laughs> ah. Hi, hello to my future boyfriend. Well, as Daniel said, I'm very lonely right now, so I hope to see you very, very soon. And well, okay. Uh, I want to say I love you. <laughs> well, uh, today, Hayana and I are recommending sweet romantic songs for Valentine's Day, which is just around the corner. Mm, that's right. And do you know what? That a survey was actually done with some. 1,300 single men wow. and women in their 20s and 30s. Mm -hmm. And 
71% of them said that Valentine's Day was the best day to confess your feelings mm -hmm. to the person you like. Mm. Well, uh, Valentine's Day isn't a holiday and there isn't a specific custom that's followed throughout the world. I mean, the traditions and how people celebrate it varies from country to country, but one thing is for sure. It's the day of love and romance when countless men and women confess their feelings to the person they like or love. So now, do you have any songs to... Mm -hmm. That I'd like to sing yes. for our viewers? Of course I do. <laughs> the song I prepared for you today is Isengi's Will You Marry Me? Wow. I strongly, I strongly recommend it to guys who are planning on proposing to their girlfriends or to their loved ones on Valentine's Day. Mm. So what? Uh, listen up. <laughs> Such a sweet song. I know it is, huh? Well, mm. But you know what? Only the people who are actually proposing mm -hmm. should sing this song. That's true. Or else the person might, might get, get the, the wrong, wrong idea. idea. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Now, well, let's recommend a few more songs that our viewers should listen to on Valentine's Day. Mm. Mm. Well, I'd like to recommend I Use Marshmallow mm. because it's very, very sweet. Marshmallow! <laughs> And Ladi's couple song where it goes, I can't live without you. And also, I'm in love where it goes, you are so beautiful. Mm. Well, who would only want to hear that, right? Yes. Well, anyways, Nada Saf sang a remake version of this song. Mm -hmm. And it became a hot issue as well. Wow. And also, Genius Fool featuring by Jung Yong-hwa of, Jung Yong -hwa of oh. TN Blue. And it's about a couple with eyes for each other only. Mm. And also, Girls' Generation Chocolate Love about love that's as sweet as chocolate. That's right. Well, uh, let me tell you about the songs that people named in a survey. Now, the theme was what men wanted their girlfriends to sing on Valentine's Day. In fifth place was SCS's I Love You. In fourth place was, uh, in fourth place was Secrets, Starlight, Moonlight. In third place was Girls' Generation's O. Oh. In second place was I Use Good Day. And in first place was Girls' Generation's Kissing You. Ooh, hmm. no, well, I should have sung one of their songs. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> but why didn't, why didn't you tell me earlier? <laughs> well, well, anyways, Daniel, what kind of chocolate do you want, want to get this year? On Valentine's Day? Mm. Um, <sighs> you know what? I really don't need to receive chocolates. I just need uh, my love. Your love. I just need love from fans and from all the K-pop lovers out there. <laughs> wow, that sounds like... Cool. That sounds so uh. fake and it sounds like a lie. <laughs> Mama, but seriously, you don't have to give chocolates. Maybe you can give something else as a present. Something, you know, that Del or even I will like even better. Mm, hmm. Okay. Well, as long as it shows your love them is real, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, as long as you love them. I mean, I'm pretty sure whatever you give them will touch their hearts. Now, uh, you know how you guys can show us your love? It's not by sending us chocolates to Pops and Soul, but it's by sending in your messages. Well, that's right. And tell us stories about what happened to you today mm -hmm. or any other concerns you have. Mm. So we'd love to hear from you guys. Yes, that's right. Now drop us a line on Twitter, Facebook, or our homepage, and we'll recommend the perfect songs and scene for you live based on your message. 